Kia ora koutou. Today we're going to draw a cartoon character. First of all, we're going to roughen the image using a coloured pencil, red or blue. And the reason that people used coloured pencils is that um, when they did what was called in-betweening, when they made animated films, the in-betweeners would use either blue or red pencils because the final uh, cartoon was drawn up with ink and they photographed them using a bromide camera and the bromide camera wouldn't pick up colour okay so you can use any coloured pencil for this stage and I'm going to draw uh, Oblix okay and he's a fairly rotund sort of a character so I'm going to start off by drawing a sort of a circular shape where his abdomen and tummy might be, okay? So, um, this part, I'll just move this image a bit closer. So this part here, okay? So that's gonna be, that's gonna be sort of a roundy bit there. And then for the top of his chest, I'm gonna also do another circle. That's this part here, okay? And then I'm gonna move and do a circle shape for his arm there and his other his forearm that part there his hand sort of comes up on this angle okay and the top of his trousers are there and the top of his hands there so I'll just sort of mark in where I think the hand shape is going to be bottom of his forearm top of his forearm so don't put in too much detail at this point and I'm standing up when I'm doing this so that I'm kind of looking down above the drawing just to sort of work out where, where these things are at this stage, okay? Especially that other hand, that hand there, okay? So I'll just put a shape in for that hand, all right? Just a simple shape. If you keep your hand moving and you get used to sort of these oval shapes begin with the top of the head because this forms almost a kind of a um, like an upside down light bulb shape or a, a um, almost a triangle I suppose you could say like that okay so his head is going to fit in there all right and the nose kind of sticks up so I'll put another oval shape there his eyes sort of fit around there there's that bit of here the helmet okay then I'll come down to where his legs are okay here it comes down well there's an angle that goes from his hand down to the where the foot is and the foot's quite low so if I go to about there then it still sticks on the camera, so we want a little bit of his thigh. He's got pretty small thighs considering he's got this great big tummy there. Okay, and that follows that shape. Keep your hand moving so you do lots of smooth, curvy lines. sort of shape comes in there. Right. Now, this is the time when you want to look at it and think, you know, where, what proportions are correct and what aren't so good and what do you need to fix at this stage. Right, so I've adjusted the camera so you can see the whole image there now. Rightio. So, what we want to do is just have another look back at this and just make sure that everything is sitting in the right place. Now, I'm going to do a little bit of work with that hand because it comes out a little bit further. There. And the top of that trouser line there probably needs just a little bit of an addition. Right, now I think about where his plaits come. So he's got his big nose here, a bit of a moustache, 
just just some simple lines and shapes for these bits because we're not going to put any detail in with the red pencil we're going to put detail in with the lead pencil but we want to know where most of this stuff is before we start with the lead pencil okay and if you have lots of lines you've made lots of marks you've made with the red pencil and you can pick out the best place uh, the best mark to follow with the with the lead pencil and i think his ear is kind of in that part there right then probably the only other thing to to do with the red pencil is these lines his um, trousers that goes up a bit higher so the lines of the trousers indicate a bit more of where the proportions lie um, and he's got that strange belt somewhere Keeping his pants above his tummy there. That's the first stage of the drawing done. Right, so for this part I'm going to use my lead pencil and I'll set down for this so I've got a little bit closer to my work um, and I can also um, see the picture a bit more clearly. Actually, I'm going to sit in closer to it because my eyesight's not as good as it once was. Okay, right now, what we want to think about is these negative shapes. Now, a negative shape is the shape that's around an object. I just added in that little dog uh, there just to give them a bit of perspective. And there's some quite interesting and important negative shapes here, like that area there. So what I want to do to begin with is just with this lead pencil, I'm just going to put in some important little areas, okay? That I, so I get the, the the whole balance and shape of the of his figure right. And I'm picking the lines on the red. So there's quite a few different lines there. There's one, two, three, four, five lines there around his tummy. And I'm going to pick the line that I think's in the right place. And I'm just adding a bit of lead pencil just to darken it. Not too dark, just, just a bit darker. And he's got that sweeping leg, his wee thigh there, and his knee like that. Okay, and it sort of curves around there a bit. I'm going to add in, see that bit there is not quite right. That should be slightly lower. But now's the time to, to just make some gentle adjustments because that, if that's a bit lower, don't use a rubber at this point, or an eraser rather. Um, we just want to sort of add in some darker bits and we'll erase or rub out some bits um, later if we need to okay so just sort of sketch away like that okay I'm just you know I'm not going mad with the I'm not actually outlining it I'm just adding in some darker parts at this point you know, just be a, you want to be a little bit patient and just let it kind of the image evolve on its own. You don't want to you don't want to rush into it. And uh, probably at this point, it's quite good to move from down here to another part of the figure. So I think I'll go up to this arm because he's got his back there, and then this arm sweeps in like that that part there so that's quite important for me to get that angle right and then there's that little bit that comes up 
was four uh, man like that. Okay, so I want that to sit in the right place. And I'll just carry on doing this for the rest of the figure. quite a big correction That's, this is the harder rubber might work a bit better there um, maybe not um, I made a big correction on that shoulder so I had to raise raise it a bit more so I just wanted to get rid of the some of the lead there and also this helmet wasn't really in the right place um, but I think that looks a little bit better for the helmet um, in the ear. Right, so what we're going to do next is from this, we're going to add some ink lines, or if you don't have any ink with a brush, um, you could use uh, a black pen, or you could use a pencil like this and darken some of the lines. So if I go around here, you can see that that darkens the line. Okay. But what I'd ideally like to do is actually go around it now with some, some ink here that I've basically drawn this from. Right, so... I'm going to start doing the inking part and I've got a few different brushes here. I've got these ones that are called riggers or liner brushes. I've got quite a small one, slightly bigger one, and a couple of small synthetic round brushes, a number two and a number zero. And I've got some water over there and I've found, uh, I've been fussing about and I've found some ink and I found this peat brown ink, which is kind of cool. And if I just wet my brush and dip it in, it's that sort of colour, which is kind of interesting. And I found some um, Indian ink, some black Indian ink, which is quite full on like that, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix a bit of this together in a container, so I've got this little container, I'll put a bit of black ink in, and I'll put a bit of that brown ink in, just, I don't really like the straight black, it's quite nice if you can put another colour with it, okay, and I think it would pay you at this stage to maybe practice a little bit on another bit of paper, so I'm just going to just see what brush is going to work best for what I want to do. Um, that one's quite a bit finer. That might be quite good. Okay. Or I might want to use this tiny little round one. Or this one okay so once you've got your brush that you you decide you want to use I think I'll use this green one and you've got your ink you've had a bit of a practice okay then what we want to start doing is remember just to when you've loaded your brush just just wipe it on the edge of your container there so we've got ink on the brush and I'm going to start and I'm just going to follow that pencil line like that and try and keep it a nice even sweep so you start and stop 
um, you know, uh, rather than stopping and starting, I should say on a line, try and paint the whole line in one sweep, lift the brush up like that, and then I'll just show you again how I do that. So I'll start, and then I keep moving the brush, and as I come down here, I'll just lift the brush slightly so it goes a bit finer. There. So I get an even, an even line, okay? And I'll just carry on working away around all my lines, looking occasionally at the drawing I'm working from just to make sure that I'm following the right um, kind of density of line I suppose. Now I'm going to go around the knee there, it's a little bit darker there so if I go back over where I've just put my line and I'll just sweep around like that there, that all seems to work, okay. So yeah, I mean obviously you can't rub out the ink once you put it on, so you want to be fairly sure of where you're going to go first of all, okay? So don't put too much on your brush, I'm just touching it, I'll just, I'll just show you how I'm doing that. I'll just wipe it off on the edge there, okay? And then I'm just following the line, lift the brush slightly like that, there. Right here, I'll work away on that. too, I think it might be watered down or something at some point, so what I've decided to do is I'm going to paint this as a colour version of this cartoon character. So I'm going to use uh, a number four round brush and probably this number two round brush and I'm going to paint in the um, trousers to begin with. Rightio, I'll crack on with that. <laughs>
Thank mm-hmm. you.